Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2025 Ford Maverick. Maverick is available to be ordered today. Probably later today. Depends on when you see this video. Uh, but you will be able to order those with your local dealers. And so we thought, you know, let's go through the different uh, trim levels and, and let you know what's standard and what's optional on each of the different trim levels. So if you like videos like this, and, and hopefully you did check the video I, I did that went over what's new for this uh, model year that was released yesterday. Uh, you can check that out at the end of the video as a recommended video. Um, but also, you know that, you know, we're going to cover all the, the standard equipment on this and let you know exactly what standard exterior, interior options and everything. And then talk uh, features, I should say, that standard. And then we're going to talk about different packages available as well and different drivetrains and different things like that. So hopefully this video will help you out. If you want to go into your local dealer and you want to uh, put that place that order, you know exactly what you're getting, and what package you want to make sure you get if you want certain features. So that's the, the importance of this video. So hope this helps you out. Now we are uh, taking orders and we do have a YouTube special. I'll have more information about that at the end of the video and check out the timestamp uh, as well as all the timestamps in this video to move around all you need to. Um, but there'll be a special timestamp for going over ordering tips when going into your local dealer or if you want to order with us, our uh, information about our YouTube special that we have, uh, which was just like it was last year uh, and the year before on these. So, all right. So let's go ahead. We're going to dive in and uh, hopefully you make sure you're subscribed. Notification bell is turned on if I haven't already said that. And uh, let's dive in here and talk about this. And we're going to I did was able to actually see the uh, the Mavericks up close and personal uh, last week. And it was really great being able to see them. And because of that, we're going to have uh, use uh, when I'm recording this video. Actually, the, the build and price will not be up yet, but it should be up by the time you view it. Um, so if you want to go over and check it out and use that. But because of that, we're going to be using some different clips that I actually have from being able to see these in person in Detroit last week. And so uh, we'll we'll be throwing those over the um, the over as I'm talking because you don't want to see my ugly face. <laughs> You'll be able to see that instead, uh, so that will help you out and give you a good idea of kind of what we're talking about on the vehicle there. So first off, let's talk about some of the mechanical features, which I probably won't have any images because I didn't think about popping the hood and getting pit images of this. But standard equipment for this year on all your trim levels, including your XLT, is going to be the 2.5 liter hybrid engine. So EcoBoost. Front wheel drive is not available anymore. So it's gone away for 25 model year. So they're all going to be standard 2.5 hybrid with front wheel drive. And it'll come with that automatic continuous variable transmission. But it has been upgraded for this year with a little more power for you because uh, they are giving you the optional all wheel drive for the hybrid, which we'll talk about later when we get to that. Uh, but that's how that's that's going to be standard equipment. So again, we're talking about standard equipment first, what we call the 300A equipment group. And then we'll get into the optional powertrains and such in just a little bit. So standard will be uh, selectable drive modes, uh, normal, eco, sport, slippery, and tow haul modes uh, for you there. Electric parking brake you're going to get as well. Electronic brake boost, you're going to get that on your hybrids and all your lariats, no matter what motor you have. And then also you can have electronic power assist steering. That's what we call e-pass. It's going to be hard, easier to steer in those parking lots, slower speeds, that kind of thing. And you'll have variable assist power steering and electronic stability control. So that's all your mechanical features that are going to come standard on your Maverick. Now let's talk about your safety features. Now we do have the, uh, for airbags, a driver and passenger front airbag. It plays a different size airbag. It depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You have safety canopy side curtain airbags that deploy down from and cover up those glasses uh, or the windows, I should say, for breaking glass if you get a rollover and it has a rollover sensor. Driver and passenger side impact airbag. Deploys from the side of the seat. So if you have that side collision in the AB pillar there, then it's going to help deploy that and help protect you from that side collision. We also do have the driver knee airbag. So they'll help protect the driver from that, that steering column uh, coming down and hurting them. So there you go. We do have an anti-theft engine immobilizer as well as security lock passive anti-theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. And we do have for the XLT perimeter alarm. So when you lock that vehicle up and you walk away, it's going to uh, get set a perimeter alarm around the vehicle. So if somebody tries to, you know, take your wheels as has an intrusion or inclination sensor for you that if it, it moves those up, it's going to set the, the alarm off as well as if somebody tries to break glass as an intrusion sensor that it'll set the alarm off to honk the horns, flash the lights, let everybody around know that someone's breaking into that car. Uh, so that's real nice to have. And that's on XLT and above. So we do have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. 
uh, that's going to get you the pre the pedestrian detection, uh, front collision warning, as well as dynamic brake support. So it'll help preload those brakes, alert, alert, alerts you if there's someone that's in front of you and you're not stopping or slowing down fast enough and you would hit them so you, you break even faster. Uh, and it also does have post impact braking as well. So if you do have that collision and you're maybe not paying attention, it'll break the vehicle. So, and then we do have lane keeping aid is standard equipment. So that's part of a lane keeping system, just one part of the, of that, but it'll help keep you in your lane as well. And I'm assuming you can activate and deactivate that with the, on the, the end of the stock on the steering column. All right. That's all the safety features. Let's get into the exterior features now, and uh, this is where it gets fun. We do have a black mesh grill with a black surround, and I'm showing images off of an FX4 that was at uh, Detroit and when we went to this, but this vehicle is not a black appearance package, and this is what you're going to be able to see. Um, we're going to talk about the different wheel in just a little bit, but this is what, what it should look like. Black mesh grill with the black surround. Right. Uh, so you're going to have that dedicated look. That Ford emblem there is going to be a, a blue and white now, like it is on the F-150. So the nice, it kind of really pops. It almost looks like it's it's lit up in, in a sense most of the time. We do have LED reflector headlights. You'll notice the black bezels. That's going to be standard across the board on all the different trim levels. Uh, so it's given it a nice look to it. We do have automatic headlights. They're, of course, LEDs. So they're going to come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. And we do have configurable daytime running lights as well. And uh, didn't mention this on the XL trim, uh, but we'll have wiper activated LED headlights. So when the wipers come on, the headlights will come on. Uh, automatic LED high beams. And uh, so just like your headlights kind of, when it's dark enough outside, those high beams will come on when you have that activated. Someone approaches you in the city lights, it'll shut them off. And then you'll notice the front bumper is going to be the molded in black front bumper under there. But we do have for the front fascia, a two piece front fascia now. So you're going to see that on the corners as well as that coming up into those headlights. That is what, we're, what we get for this year. Some people, that is, that is a feature I think that some people just don't like and some people do. And I'm getting used to it. I think, you know, over time here in a, in a little bit, I'll get used to it and I'll like it, uh, but it is, it is growing on me. Uh, don't forget about your windshield wipers, uh, intermittent speeds for that uh, as well there. Now, let's talk about the wheels. A 17-inch painted aluminum wheel. I believe it's the same wheel as last year uh, for the Maverick XLT. Tire is a 225-65 R17 all-season black sidewall tire. Four-wheel disc analog disc brakes. And we do have tire pressure monitoring system as well for that. The same Maverick XLT fender badge as we did have last year. And the mirrors are going to be the same as last year. Manual fold, power glass for the mirrors, uh, molded in black uh, skull caps or mirror caps, I like to call it. Um, and then we do have the door handles. It's going to be black door handles with a tailgate handle as well. And we do have the... Um, yeah, that's going that's going to be also the little rocker molding will also be black as well on that and the black rear bumpers back there too remote keyless entry uh no longer flip key we do have intelligent access now allows you to get in and out without having to take the key out of your pocket and then push button start as well now for this year we do have the rear privacy glass on those back windows and back glass the rear glass is fixed on the back and then for your fuel tank we do have easy fuel capless filler door uh, so you do have that. So no cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands or anything like that. Just open that door, fill it up, and shut it when you're done. The hybrids will get a 13.8-gallon fuel tank. And the EcoBoost, if you go for the optional EcoBoost, it'll have a 16.5-gallon uh, fuel tank there. And then moving to the back, we do have a cargo uh, air lamp on the back with an integrated center home on the stoplight on the back of that cab. You'll see that antenna on the back as well, that shark fin antenna, as I like to call it, for your radio and everything that looks like that's going to continue for this year we do have on the top of the bed rails it's going to be molded in black across there as well as the tailgate um, and then of course i already mentioned the rear bumper being that molded in black we do have power locking tailgates it locks with the doors so you can control that with the remote uh, rear view camera so you can be able to see as you're backing up uh, with that camera and we do have a spare tire that's going to be up underneath it is a mini spare just like it was on the xl a 155-90R17 tire there for you. New for this year, 2K trailer hitch receiver with the four-pin connector. So all XLTs will come with a hitch now uh, for 2,000 pounds of towing capability. Trailer sway control comes with that as well. Flex bed storage system inside as well for this. 
uh, just like we had did see in the XL trim. Uh, you do get a cubby storage in the bed, the passenger side, so you can open that up. Does have a false bottom, so you can take that out and gives you more room in there. And then for the uh, the, the uh, tow hooks, we do have cargo tie downs, uh, six of them in there. You get four more when you go to the XLT. So now you have ten tie downs inside the bed on the XLT there for you. So, all right, now moving to the interior of the vehicle, we do have a, a floor covering that is going to be carpeted for the interior. We do also have carpeted mats for the front row only as well. Don't forget about those storage bins in the doors that are really nice and big on the Maverick. Uh, we also do have grab handles uh, in the back as well as the passenger gets one above his door too. If they need it to help get in or uh, different situations. We have a vinyl console. Don't forget we have bucket seats here. So a vinyl console lid there. And we do have for the front seats a six-way manual adjustable driver seat, four-way manual adjustable passenger seat. So the difference is the driver is going to get a height adjustment as well as forward and back and the backrest. Uh, we do have unique cloth bucket seats for this year. So you're going to see some blue stitching, grabber blue stitching on those seats. And we'll talk more about interior colors. Uh, it does have, if you look closely, little flecks of little blue in the cloth in the gray part of those seats on the front cushion, as well as the back top of the backrest. Uh, we also do have a floor console with an armrest and storage bin in there. And then we do have seat back mat pockets uh, for the on the back of the passenger seat on uh, over there. And then in the rear seat, we do have a full benched cloth seat, uh, folding uh, seat back. Uh, so it does can pull it forward. That's where your latch system is going to tether back there. So it all, and the latch system lower anchors and tethers for children. So you can harness those car seats out and those two outbound seats, as well as uh, tether it back to the back under the behind that. Also, the seat cushion does flip up so you can have storage underneath as well. Um, and then for the XLT, we'll have cup holders that come out of the armrest in the middle of that backrest back there, too. And then we do have coat hooks on the rear too by those grab handles. Uh, for the windows, power front and rear windows, one touch and down for the driver window. So that one touch means you just hard press it down and you don't have to hold it. At that point, once it, it hit catches, it's gonna go down and you don't have to continue to hold it. Power door locks, uh, unlock and lock as well for that. And then we do have a black urethane steering wheel uh, also standard, just like in the XL. And then we have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So it'll adjust, go up and down, forward and back, so you can get it just right. Manual lock on that. And you have audio controls on the steering wheel, as well as your cruise control on your steering wheel, too. And then through the productivity screen, new for this year, we do have an 8-inch productivity screen. Uh, so you can see all the different uh, things in the instrument cluster. You know, uh, your lights are on, you know, all the different uh, checks and, and everything else on that uh, instrument cluster. So it's the same on all models for this year. Uh, again, intelligent access you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start it push button start now for the xlt trim a lot of people ask for that and ford delivered on that for this year and you do have a manual single zone climate control as well for this year am fm stereo with six speakers and for this year upgraded 13.2 inch center stack screen standard equipment across the board on all trim levels get you the sync four system with the enhanced voice recognition system includes Sirius XM with the 360 L three months for free. After that, you do have to pay for a subscription, but that will come with it. You do also have the wireless Android auto wireless Apple CarPlay with that. You do get conversational voice commands, digital owners manual with that 911 assist, all those features included. Um, so pretty cool upgrade there for you and even better rear view camera because it just looks so much more, uh, so much better on that 13th screen and screen there. We do have um, the visors that come down with a dual vanity mirrors behind them. We do have a map lights and overhead console. We do have front and rear cargo um, dome lights uh, up there. You can turn on and off up there. And then we do have the, uh, in the, in the uh, media bin area, we'll have PowerPoint, 12 volt. There's also one behind the console, forgot to mention earlier. So one in the front, one in the rear, and two USB ports of type A and C that up there in the front in the in that media hub area. And then we do have rotary dial, a gear shift dial as well for this year. Now, you know, there's a good benefit on that. If you, you know, have that in drive and don't think about it, you open the door, it's going to put it in park automatically for you. So a nice safety features there. We do have a, a Ford Pass Connect, gets a 4G LTE Wi Fi hotspot connect up to 10 different devices. With a subscription to AT&T, by the way, uh, but with the Ford Pass Connect, that is different than the Wi-Fi hotspots. You don't have to pay for the Ford Pass Connect app, and then you connect your vehicle up. 
You can unlock up, unlock and unlock it from anywhere. Remote start from anywhere. Schedule remote start times. All those features. See where the vehicle is located. The fuel that you have in the vehicle. Everything else like that using the Ford Pass app it has been updated now. So you might check out the video I did on that uh, where we kind of went over the Ford Pass. Uh, and how it's been updated because things have been moved around a little bit. If you had one before, you might uh, need to, to revisit that. So there we go. That is all the standard equipment. Oh, not not done yet. We forgot. We got to cover colors for a second here. So I did a video that I did yesterday. Hopefully you guys check that out. That went over the colors. I'll use that image so you guys can see it. So there's some new colors for this year now. And the interior it'll look the same as last year in a sense of you're going to have that navy pier environment and you're going to have the aspen gray in the doors on the dash and everything just like we did last year and then um, the cloth seats are a little different with the grabber blue accents inside in the console on the door grabs on the vents instead of that orange for this year so that's a, a unique different look now for the exterior colors we do have the azure gray is back tri coat for this year cost extra for that color that's available carbonized gray metallic is back for this year new color for this year Eruption Green. It is a one-year color, I've been told. And it's only be available for this year and may not be available next year. So if you want that Eruption Green, now is the time to get it. Oxford White is back for this year. Shadow Black, also back for this year. Another new color for this year, Space White Metallic. So we've seen that on the Mach-E. We've seen it on the F-150. Escape for 25 model year and now on the Maverick. And I think that's replacing Cactus Gray because Cactus Gray is not available this year. Uh, as well as Iconic Silver is not available this year either. So those those colors are gone. Uh, Ruby Red is another uh, new color. It's a tinted clear coat. I believe that's replacing Hot Pepper Red because Hot Pepper Red is not available this year either. But we do have the Ruby Red to replace it. Desert Sand, you might think it's called Terrain. I think on a Bronco and Broncos, uh, Bronco Sport and Maverick, I get them confused. But now it's Desert Sand. If it was Terrain last year, it's the same color code. Uh, we're just calling it desert sand and then velocity blue is back. It was available a couple years ago. It is back and Atlas blue is not available. So four colors gone, four colors of, of, are new, uh, for this year. Hopefully there's a color there that you do like. Now let's talk about some of your powertrain options. And what we've talked about so far is uh, what they call the standard equipment is a 300A equipment group. And that is the, as we mentioned, the hybrid with front wheel drive, getting you the automatic condition variable transmission. That is your uh, standard setup in a sense. Um, and then there are two different ways you can go from there. You can go either 301A or 302A. And Based on what they are, even though the numbers build from 301 to 302, the price doesn't build that way. So just keep that in mind. Um, basically, when you go from hybrid all-wheel drive, then you go to EcoBoost all-wheel drive for about $1,000 more, from what I understand. And EcoBoost all-wheel drive with the 8-speed automatic transmission, that's your 302A equipment group. So keep that in mind. Uh, that is a breakdown. So if you you know, you know kind of see that out there, you kind of know what that is. So that's going to get you the 2.0 EcoBoost engine. Heat speed automatic and going to get you the all wheel drive system that we did see from last year. Now, new for this year is in the hybrid all wheel drive system, and that goes from that's going to be about $2,200 when you go from basically just adds the all wheel drive to the hybrid. So you go from hybrid front wheel drive to hybrid all wheel drive. That's the 301A equipment group. That is going to cost you about $2,200 to go up from that. I don't have all the pricing yet on this, uh, but there you go. That is the difference on that and how that breakdown is for the different powertrains. And of course, on all your hybrids, you'll get that electronic door release. So you release it from the inside and it'll pop open for you. And then, of course, uh, whether it be hybrid or uh, or front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Uh, so that'll be the difference. And again, your fuel tanks will be uh, different sizes as well. And also when you back up, you're going to have that, that the sounder that goes off for the to alert pedestrians as well so a couple different things that are different uh now i'm not sure if all wheel drive will be flat toe capable or not we'll get more information on that when we get to the spec stuff and uh yeah so we'll we'll enjoy talking about that down the road all right now let's talk about the xlt luxury package this is available on all xlt packages whether it be front wheel drive or all wheel drive so 300 301 or 302 a equipment group um, does not require anything else. So it doesn't require Copilot 360 or any of those like some packages do. Uh, so with this package here, it does upgrade and give you some nice luxury features. People looking for those heated comfort features, this is where you get that. So you're going to upgrade the driver's seat to an eight-way power driver's seat. So I assume forward and back, 
up and down the recline, maybe power lumbar or maybe a tilt on the front cushion. Also, six-way manual passenger seat, so forward and back, up and down, and the backrest manually adjusted. You'll get a 400-watt outlet. Uh, so that one's going to be, you're going to be one in the, in the bed back there by the, in the back. Uh, you're also going to get an led box lighting back there. That's going to be on the driver's side over there. And then also you're going to get the, uh, that power inverter also on the back of the console. So it'll get two USB ports in that instead of an, an a PowerPoint there. And this is where you also get your heated stuff. So your heated mirrors, uh, will be the black painted mirror caps as well. And you're going to get heated seats, too, included. And the heated steering wheel, which will now be a soft vinyl-wrapped heated steering wheel as well. And to go on with all that, because it works with your remote start, is your remote start on the remote as well. Uh, so that way you can remote start the vehicle when you're close up proximity. It'll heat up the seats, the mirrors, the steering wheel for you. You can also use the Ford Pass app to do that, too. So, again, this package, only available on XLT, of course. 300, 301, or 302A, so it does not matter what configuration you have. It is available on hybrid or EcoBoost. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the Ford Copilot 360 package, and this is a package that steps up your Copilot 360 suite of features and adds even more features to it, and this is going to be available as optional equipment on the 100, 101A, or 102A on the XL, or the 300, 301, or 302A on the XLT trim. And these features are already included. I went over a standard equipment on your Lariat and um, some of the other packages, some of the other trim levels. Um, so I want to kind of uh, make sure I point that out. So let's talk about what you get on top of your normal features here. And this does have the automatic emergency braking on coming. So we assume this is a, this is a new feature we haven't seen before. And uh, uh, we're kind of assuming like the pre-collision uh, pre assist when you're going behind somebody is that if somebody's approaching you oncoming, maybe crosses over that center line or something, that this is going to help and maybe start a braking or maybe move you. I don't know. But uh, we'll get more information on this for Maverick Monday and talk about it at that time. Um, with also with this, you get the bliss with cross traffic alert. So that's your blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. Uh, so if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in that mirror. And also as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to alert you series of tones and flashes red on your dash. Now new for this year as part of this package is the cross traffic brake assist now. So if you, it alerts you and then you still don't, maybe you look left and right and go, there's no one coming and you keep going, it's going to break the vehicle because it does not want you to hit that person. So you may not just see them at that time because it's very advanced and, and where it sees. Also with this package, you're getting evasive steering assist now. This is crazy. This is actually part of the, you know, the adaptive cruise and everything in the past. Now they're including this, uh, evasive steering assist that uh, is going to help you if you can't stop in time and you need to avoid them. It's going to make it easier to turn the steering wheel and go around them if there's no one in your lane beside you. Now, it is a feature can activate and deactivate. If you don't like that, you're like, I don't like this. Don't not get this. Don't decide not to get this package because of that because it can be deactivated. Also the intersection assist. So that's something first introduced on the 24 F-150. If you're coming across the intersection and maybe there's someone coming, maybe there's a person turning in the turn lane and they're yielding because there's cars beside you, but you don't see a car behind you, maybe in their blind spot, uh, it'll stop because its system will see that and stop you short of them, of hitting them. Uh, so that'll, that'll be nice as well. And then with this, you're also getting rear parking sensors now on this package. So in the past, this package got you two features and now you're getting so much more out of this package. Uh, I don't have pricing yet at the time of recording this, uh, but I assume it's probably going to be more than the $650 from last year. Um, but you're also going to the rear parking sensor. So as you're backing up, it's going to alert you as well. And then don't want to forget about the lane keeping system stuff. You get the, you already get the lane keeping aid, which I think is phenomenal. The standard equipment already on all of your vehicles, but now you get the alert system. So it's going to vibrate the steering wheel if you've left your lane. And I actually like that better than the aid, just me personally. Um, so this allows you to do that and the driver alerts. So if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, uh, maybe getting drowsy or whatever, it's going to alert you and let you know that too. So, and then of course on your XL vehicles only, you're going to also get the power mirror feature. Uh, too. So it's, it's going to need that. Um, so it'll have that blind spot mirror information on that glass. So you'll get the power windows or power, power, power mirrors on your XLs as well. So that's something as an upgrade when you go with this on the XL.
Now let's talk about the 4K tow package. Now this package is available on your XL, XLT, and Lariat trims with the all-wheel drive. It does require that, and it can be put on the hybrid all-wheel drive or the EcoBoost all-wheel drive. Uh, it does require you to have the Ford Copilot 360 package, so make sure you have that package um, to order this package. Or if you try to order it, your dealer might tell you you need to order that as well. And that is true. So this here package is going to allow for more towing, gives you up to 4,000 towing capability and, and that rating for that. It is going to give you the trailer brake controller with this package. Uh, so that allows you to be able to brake your trailer, which is can be very important in, in situations. Also gets, get you upgraded, get the trailer hitch, uh, just like you did with the other one. But now you get a class three hitch with a four pin and seven pin wiring connectivity. So you can connect up those seven pin wiring trailers. Uh, also upgrades the transmission oil cooler as well. So you're going to have that. So that'll help. Uh, again, this is helping the engine perform so it can tow the 4,000 pounds. Higher capacity radiator as well on your 2.0 liter gas engines. You won't have that on your hybrid, but just your, your 2.0. And then upgraded cooling fan as well is going to be given to this. And then you get the conventional 17-inch spare tire. Not calling it the full-size spare this year. They're smart. <laughs> so you saw a lot of people complaining about it. It's not a full-size spare. It's pretty close. It's conventional 17-inch spare tire. It's a 215-70 R17 for that. And uh, that is your 4K tow package. Again, does require the Copilot 360 and is available on any all-wheel drive, XL, XLT, or Lariat. All right, let's talk about the black appearance package. Uh, now, for this year, it's a little different than last year. It's available on the XLT and the Lariat trim all-wheel drive. So you cannot get this in a hybrid front-wheel drive for this year. So it requires all-wheel drive, either hybrid or eco, and uh, not available with your FX4 off-road package. And you will not see this on your trimmer package either, or trimmer trim as well. So um, you can't have that. So you can't, the different appearances and wheels will not work on this one. So let's, uh, this is what it's going to include this year. Now, for one thing to keep in mind, this does, uh, there's a note in here for this year. You are going to get the Navy pier interior environment in this with some black accents. So let's go through and what's going to be black on this vehicle. First of all, your 19 inch black aluminum wheel, uh, is going to be continued for this year. You'll be a 225, 55 R19 tire that's going to come with that. You're going to also get the black grill on the front, uh, which is going to be upgraded up there. So you get the black grill, so a little bit different look. You'll get the black emblems on the front as well as on the back back there too. So that'll be an upgrade too. Uh, it does say painted mirrors here, which I believe are black painted. It doesn't differentiate that. Actually, it does say contains black in all these. So that would be black painted mirrors. Black painted roof for this year. We didn't see that last year. Uh, this year, you get the black painted roof. Black edition hood decals as well. So you'll have those on there. Don't know what they look like yet. We did not see one of those when we were in Detroit looking these over. Um, you're going to see black in, uh, interior accents as well. So the vents will be black in the console will be black as well. That's what some people like about this package. Your seats are going to be a, a black seat. They're going to be a gray on your XLT. Um, and then they'll be black on your Lariat trim. So you're going to have different seat uh, then you do see on normal on XLT and the Lariat trim. Um, and I think I've covered everything else. So, yeah. So, you're going to get a lot of black accents around the vehicle. And for this year, black painted roof, um, black mirror caps, and also um, those decals there. So, that's pretty cool. Let's do some upgrades for this year for the black appearance package. And, again, don't forget, not available with the FX4 off-road package and does require all-wheel drive. Now let's talk about the FX4 off-road package. This package is only available on the XLT trim and only available with EcoBoost all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. So you cannot get this on the hybrid all-wheel drive. So just so you know that, and is not available with the black appearance package and does require the XLT luxury package to get this package. So that's a little bit different than it has been in the past. So this, this uh, package is going to give you the all the off-road capabilities you might expect. So I guess it's a 17-inch unique aluminum wheel. So that is a downgrade on the wheel, and that's because you get more tire. The tire is an all-terrain tire. doesn't have the numbers on there, but usually a smaller wheel, bigger tire for off-road. You want a higher sidewall when you're going off-road. Exposed front tow hooks on the front on the these, uh, 4K on the FX4 package. Uh, you're also going to get the hill descent control. So that's going to be nice. You can, that allows you to be able to go under one miles an hour and keep that speed coming down a hill. So that, that's pretty nice having that. 
You're going to get upgraded with their off-road screen in the instrument cluster. So only FX4 and Tremor gets that screen. You'll have that as well. Upgraded suspension as well. So it does say performance suspension, but this gives you the upgraded shocks and such like that uh, for going off-road. Also gives you skid plates underneath to help protect it uh, from when you're going off-road as well. Upgrades a spare tire to a conventional 17-inch spare tire which is a 215-70R17. Not a completely a full-size. That's why they don't call it full-size this year, uh, but it does upgrade that. Um, does upgrade your cooling of the engine. So you do have a, heavy, a higher capacity radiator and an upgraded cooling fan as well for this, uh, this setup here. So you'll have that as well. Um, and then you will get the off-road or the FX4 off-road box side decals on the back or on the sides. Um, and then it does say replaces a tailgate all-wheel drive badge with an FX4. Kind of cool there, too, um, which I think they did that last year. Um, also, we do have um, the rotor dial shift knob includes selectable drive modes of normal, mud rut, slippery, sand, and tow haul. You will not see an eco mode, and I believe there's another one you're missing there, too, sport mode. You will not see those as well so i think i've covered everything else um so that's that packaging again requires xlt luxury package not available with the black appearance package and does require ecoboost all-wheel drive so now let's cover the standalone options and for this year i'm not going to include your dealer installed options for one most of those are things i th i think you should leave off your build if you want to get it built faster um, but I'll probably do a separate video on a Maverick Monday talking about some of the dealer installed options that could be put on your order and, uh, and such. And yeah, we'll do that in a, a separate video. Uh, I really don't uh, want to include it in this to speak for the fact that I, I don't think most of the dealer installed options I'm looking at, you should just leave off your build unless you want it to wait longer. So anyway, so what we'll talk about standalone options. Um, and, uh, these are all ones that come from the factory. So they're either put in your vehicle or on your vehicle at the factory and uh, we'll, we'll break out maybe some of the ones that maybe you should think about leaving off as well uh, towards the end here. And uh, so we'll go from that. And so we're actually using this clip for all of the different trim levels. So if you've seen the XL, then this is probably a part where you can skip because it's going to be all the I'm using this clip on all of the videos because it's all the same for the most part. There's some differentiations, which we're going to go through as we talk about it for this. So, all right, enough of that. Let's dive in now. For uh, uh, optional equipment for the XL trim only, because it's included on the XLT and above, and that is the 2K trailer hitch receiver with a four pin connector. Um, again, that's not available if you do get the XL with a 4K tow package, because you get uh, the different wiring. Uh, but this is available on XL on all different of your equipment groups, whether it be hybrid or EcoBoost, it doesn't matter, but it's available on your XL, but not available on XLT and above, because they, they already get a hitch. Um, all right, next one is the bed tie-down locking rails with the two locking brackets. Now, the, that's already standard equipment on the Lariat and Tremor, but for the XL and XLT, uh, you can go ahead and get this uh, those sliding rails if you want. So we replace two of your other uh, tie-downs in there, so you'd still get 10 total, but it gives you the bed rails if you want it, and that's uh, an optional equipment. The bed extender. The bed extender. Uh, now, this is uh, not a. This is available on any of the different trim levels, um, and not available with the molded drop-in liner, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Which that's not available on the Lariat trim or the trimmer anyway. Um, but uh, just keep that in mind. Also, not available with your tonneau pickup box cover, soft folding, and hard roll-up. So that bed extender is not available. But that bed extender allows you to be able to. It just goes in there. Folds out over the tailgate and allows you to extend your bed if you want to put a canoe or something like that on there, uh, or just extend it. Or it rotates back in, so if you leave your tailgate up, it kind of leaves it to give you like a little uh, area to put things in there, so it won't slide clear forward into your bed as well. So bed extender that has actually been holding up builds on the 24 model year. So I just want to throw that out there. That's a possibility that it could hold up years from being produced or scheduled for production as well. The bed tray liner. Uh, this is not available on the Lariat or the Tremor trims, uh, but it is available on XL and XLT. Uh, now on the XL, uh, if you get this, it also gives you four extra tie downs. So you'd have all the tie downs like you'd have in an XLT and above. Now this is not available with your bed mat, but a bed tray liner is, if you if you see the drop-in bed liner, it is the bottom piece of the four-piece drop-in bed liner, technical five-piece. Um, so... That's that. So it's just kind of a, the bottom piece of that. Um, and then also next is the 
Um, the bed liner, hard, modular, hard drop-in. It is one of the best drop-in liners I've seen of any model out there. It's kind of nice. It's a five-piece uh, liner that kind of goes in together um, and drills in uh, to the bed. And this is not available with the Larry or Trimmer because they get a spray-in bed liner included. So they're not available in those. And if you do order this with the XL, um, then you get those four tie downs again on it. So that, there you go. And then this is not available with your bed extender or your bed mat or your hard rolling tonneau cover. So keep that in mind. If you want the modular drop in liner should not be a holdup. They're not putting these on the XLT luxury packages anymore. So because of that, that should make this ease this up to be able to, if you want this as optional equipment, not be a problem getting it. So I'd say go ahead and order it. Next is the bed liner, tough spray in bed liner that is standard on the Larry and Tremor, but available on the XL and XLT. And uh, so probably, I don't know, that might hold up your build a little bit. I'm telling you, um, because they're adding it to all Tremors and all, all Lariats, it could be a, a problem. Maybe not too much, but if you put it on there, try it. If it doesn't get scheduled, you might pull it off. But there you go. That is optional on XL and XLT. Um, the bed mat that is removable. So that bed mat can just slide in there and you can take it out. That is not available with your bed tray liner or your modular drop-in liner um, because you already have something at the bottom. You don't need it. Um, so there you go. That's available on all trim levels, it looks like. So you can even add this to a spraying liner if you want. So there you go. Uh, engine block heater. That is something that is a in bed mat. I don't think is holding things up. Uh, but it might. We'll keep you posted. Make sure you're checking out our scheduling um, videos, our live streams every Tuesday, uh, so you can get all the, the updated on that because uh, it may be a week-to-week -week thing on the bed mat. Draw, uh, the engine block heater, that is something if you live in a cold weather state, you want to have that plug in the front so you can plug it in the house, keep your the engine bay warm, um, then this is something, or your engine block, I should say, warm, then this helps you out. It's available on any trim level. And any configuration that should not hold up your build and is definitely needs to be done at the factory. So, all right, floor liners, front and rear. We have two options without the carpeted mats and with the carpeted mats. One of them is cheaper than the other. Now, this is standard on your trimmer, so that won't be available on your trimmer, uh, but it is available. Um, so, there you go. Uh, front license plate bracket. If you live in a state with a front that requires a front license plate, it's standard equipment. It'll come with your vehicle. If you're in a state like us that doesn't require a front license plate, but you want one, Make sure you put it on your order. That's not holding up builds and your dealers and uh, required to put it on free of charge. Make sure they don't charge you for that. All right. Next is a protective film hood and fenders. And I really don't even want to talk about this. This is in holding up builds since the launch of the Maverick. I wouldn't recommend you don't put it on there. But if you want to take a little while or if you want to hold yours up from production, put it on there. <laughs> it will. Um, it is available on any of your different trim levels. Not available with the arrow. Uh, hood deflectors. That's a deal installed option. Um, anyway, there you go. All right. And then lastly, we're going to talk about three different pickup box uh, bed covers. I recommend you leave all these off. And I know Ford hates when I say this because they knew need to keep those guys busy uh, putting some on. But I'm just telling you, if you add any of these, it will probably hold up your build because the production uh, availability is very small on this. So without it on there, the very simple you can make your build, the better it is for getting your schedule for a production date, especially an early one. Uh, but here's your options. You have a hard roll up one that is available on about any trim level, not available with your bed extender, uh, not available with your hard drop in liner as well, and uh, not available with the Yakima bed rail mounted crossbars, which is a dealer installed option. Then you have the hard trifold bed cover that is not available with your Yakima bed rail mounted crossbars, but is available with all the other stuff because and some of these just happens to be where the brackets are to, to put this onto the bed rails that makes it to where it doesn't work with some of the others. And then you have the pickup box cover soft folding. So that's a trifold as well, I believe. Maybe a quadruple. I don't know. Anyway, it does not it's not available with the bed extender or your bed divider kit, which is a dealer installed option, or your Yakima bed rail mounted crossbars, which is a dealer installed option as well. So there you go. And then lastly, two other things. We do have the power moonroof, which is available on the XLT, Lariat, and Tremor. Uh, so that's available on those, those three there. And also the splash guards molded front and rear uh, is also available. I wouldn't put it on your build. This has been holding up a lot of orders. 
uh, in the past. It is available on the XLT, Larry, or Trimmer, but not available on the XL. Uh, and again, get that from your dealership later is what I'd recommend. Um, it's going to come to into the vehicle anyway. The dealership's going to have to install it. So just let your dealership install it. It will cost a little extra, but uh, it won't hold up your build. So that's uh, there's all the optional equipment uh, for those uh, for those trim levels, XL, XLT, Larry, and trimmers. So that's all of your standard equipment and different optional packages and standalone options all in this video. And uh, don't forget, order banks are opening up real soon. It's supposed to be the day of August 1st, probably in late afternoon. You can place an order for any of the different trim levels here. And uh, so hopefully you guys do uh, enjoy this video. And uh, don't forget to check out the other videos. Uh, we're doing the whole complete um breakdown of all the different trim levels so you're very educated you know what to do and speaking of educating uh don't forget uh, about some of the ordering tips so i'm gonna go over some ordering tips and then i'll go over our our youtube special here and so some things to keep in mind if you're going to place that order with your local dealer there are some great local dealers so please seek them out i always try to buy local if i can and try to do that if you'd like to as well but saying some things to just kind of keep them honest and make sure you don't have any surprises when that Maverick comes in after you've been waiting a little while uh, is just kind of get everything down in writing. Right. So find out um, when you order the vehicle, Ford is going to show and on that printout what your MSRP price is. Uh, so, you know, find out from that dealer. Are they going to be at MSRP? Are they going to be below? Are they going to be above? What's their price? Uh, and then find out also if they're going to add anything to your vehicle. So something that dealers, some dealers are doing now is that they're actually adding some different aftermarket market stuff like a protective film or a clear coat protected or they're adding like nitro to the tires or window tint to the vehicles and they say that comes on every vehicle and it's required um it's i don't think they can do that um so you know ask them find out if they're going to do that and what that cost is going to be and and is it things that you really want if you don't want them you know talk to them and say that's not going to work for me there's other dealers that aren't doing that and law macarthur is one of those so if you don't uh, want to do that then then seek them out and put them on put them on the hot seat but also get that in writing that they won't add that to your vehicle when it comes in also find out what their dealer fee that's another fee that is, is added on and we're very transparent we do have a dealer fee some states don't require or are don't allow dealers to do it some states some dealerships they can dictate what that is ours is 495 and that cost does goes through uh does not go to the salesperson most of that goes there's a very actually there's a small percentage that does go to the uh, Again, being transparent, that goes to the salesperson as a year-end bonus uh, for every vehicle they sell. So if they sell a vehicle and don't make any money on it, they will at least at the end of the year get a little bit of a bonus. So a very, very small percentage of that, um, I'm talking just dollars for each deal goes to the salesperson. Uh, the rest of that goes to our business office upstairs to help process everything out and on each of those deals. And some of that money has to be paid to the state uh, and into titling and such like that. So that's what that fee goes to, uh, but it all goes to the administrative office, just so you know that. Uh, but that is our dealer fee and other dealers may charge more or less than that, but just being transparent, that's what will be added to all of our deals. Um, and then also find out if they know about honoring price protection and your incentives so when you order the vehicle ford will honor what it is when you order the vehicle as long as the person that that ordered the vehicle buys the vehicle same name if the address changes let's say you move the dealer can get an exception to get that that back then the price should be protected to what it was when you when you ordered the vehicle if ford raises the price they'll reimburse back the dealership 45 to 60 days later on their dealer payment statement um so that that's that is a thing it's called price protection i've done a lot of videos on this and it is a thing and it is and, and not only that but if you look on the invoice have them you know tell them to look on the invoice you'll see a protected invoice amount so they you know they get their money back so that tells them and they readjust that invoice and then they're going to reimburse that money back also the incentives so if let's say there are some there probably won't be any special incentives on the maverick but if there were you wouldn't be able to lock in those special any special rates or any special rebates that are the applicable at the time you order it or if there's some that come in that happen when the vehicle comes in you can take one or the other you can't if they change in between and then and go away you can't get them in between but you can get the protected date which is the date you order it or the sale date the date it comes in so that's also something you might want to ask them about too so there's some just some helpful tips to make sure that you get uh, protected on your vehicle and uh, that you get you have no surprises when the vehicle comes in and those are all things that we know and we do here at law macarthur because we are a transparent dealer so make sure you know about all those things 
And if you want to order with us, we are taking orders. We're one of the, the largest volume Maverick dealers in the country. Uh, we were number one through the first half of the year of 2024. Um, and uh, we'll probably close out and get me one of the top dealers in the country this year, meaning that allocations are given to dealers based on their sales volume. So uh, what is an allocation? That is a, a dealer needs an allocation to fulfill an order. So if a dealer has 20 orders, not all 20 of those will be built unless they have 20 allocations. So a dealer earns an allocation based on their sales volume and what they have in inventory. If it's a, a dealer doesn't turn their Mavericks, let's say they're trying to go over MSRP and they, they're sitting on their lot, that actually affects them. They're going to get less allocations. They're going to give it to the dealer that's actually getting the vehicles and selling the vehicles and they're turning them quickly. And that is what we do here at Law MacArthur. Um, we continue to turn those and to uh, and because of that, we get a lot of allocation. So if you want to order from us, we are doing MSRP pricing on all the Mavericks. Uh, we do have a special uh, 495 fee. I told you that earlier. But also we have a special YouTube. If you want to finance with us, we'll pay up to the first $1,000 of the shipping cost to have it shipped right to your door. Uh, and then if it's over $1,000, then you'll pay for that difference. Um, but if you want to come and fly up and meet us, get, pick up the vehicle here and drive it home, a lot of people are doing that. It's a, it's a lot of fun to meet you guys in person. Uh, then you get $1,000 of your travel expenses. So we're talking flights, hotel, and um, any fuel going back to your location. You just send us those receipts and we reimburse you back up to $1,000 for that as well if you finance with us. Uh, we do say at the standard rates and at the full amount, uh, just for the fact that uh, that's how we, we got to reimburse $1,000. And if you know anything about pricing on the Maverick, there's not a thousand dollar markup there. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's how we're able to pay for that. But if you're already planning to finance anyway, this is a great way to, to help you get it shipped right to you or to come up and pick it up and have your travel expenses paid for. So um, there we go. That's how that works for us. So if you want to do that, let us know, contact us. You can go on our website and you can actually build the vehicle out on our website of how you want it configured. Fill out your name and information and put in the comments in there that you saw the YouTube, you want the YouTube special in the comments and then the notes. Uh, and then that way we can make sure you get that offer and uh, we can go ahead and place your order right away and get it, uh, get it in there so we can get it scheduled for you as soon as possible. So uh, you should be expecting probably January one is the first delivery dates. Um, Ford is saying they're going to be holding up these new builds to make sure there's no issues with recalls and such like they've had in the past. So we know that production starts in November. Uh, and so we're probably going to be January before some of those are shipped out to dealers. Uh, just, just so you're aware of that and that timing and everything. Uh, so there you go. All right. Well, thanks guys for watching this video. Hope you guys uh, helped you out. Uh, hit that like button if it did. Also hit the subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. And until the next video, stay positive. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. And we'll see you in the next video.